Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on your favorite Little Sla YouTube channel. So recently I could see a lot of people have started to attend interviews and they were asking me uh, to prepare some videos on the uh, specific topics which are related to the interviews. So that's the reason I have started preparing uh, these videos on uh, the Dynatrace or the performance testing or the app dynamics and much more videos are coming and they are in pipeline. So today in this video, we will see uh, the very basic question that's be, that will be asked to you in case if you are attending your interview. So can you explain uh, what is Dynatrace is and what its role in performance monitoring? Because this would be your first question uh, when it comes to the Dynatrace and performance engineering and even, even like performance testers are even getting the same question. So the question here is like I told you, uh, the interviewer might want to know about your expertise on the directory so he might ask you a question on that so before we move on to see the video like the question and the answers related to it i welcome you all to little sly youtube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet and like the video uh, share the video with your friends and uh, watch the video till the end so that's what uh, i was about to say okay fine uh, so the question here is uh, let start the question so the question here is can you explain what Dynatrace is and its role in performance monitoring so that's the question and we will see one by one so I will take you through the examples as well so the first part is here uh, so before we even start uh, about what does it do for the performance monitoring so let me first tell you so Dynatrace is a comprehensive performance monitoring tool which is used in IT environments to ensure optimal system performance and user experience and its role in performance monitoring is like multifaceted like we can um, use it in several uh, phases several several uh, scenarios when it comes to the performance testing so I'll tell you like I'll explain you what uh, does it do with some examples so the first part of it is the end-to-end -end visibility because Dynatrace provides a holistic view of the entire IT infrastructure which allows you to trace the performance issues from end users interactions down to the back-end system so that is why I'm telling you again it's it will give an end-to-end -end visibility which is it will allow you to trace the performance issues from the end user transactions down to the backend system so for instance like when an application is experiencing slow response times Dynatrace will reveal that the database queries were causing the bottleneck which will enable you to optimize the database performance and improve the overall user experience and this is possible only because the Dynatrace will help you to trace the performance from the end user interaction down to the backend systems so that's the reason you are able to reveal that the database query is causing the bottleneck and this will enable you to optimize the database performance and that will in turn improve the overall user experience so that's about the first point which is the end-to-end -end visibility so now moving on to the second part which is the real-time monitoring so when it comes to the real-time monitoring uh, so in the recent project you can even bring uh, an example like this in the recent project uh, Dynatrace's real-time monitoring capabilities were instrumental in detecting a sudden spike in error rates during a peak traffic period and by promptly identifying the issue you are able to investigate and rectify it before it impacted a significant portion of users and in turn why it, it preserves the customer satisfaction and the business reputation so overall Dynatrace continuously monitors the application performance in real time, right? We all know that. And this monitoring, which is monitoring in real time, will provide instant insights into the performance issues as they occur. Because since it's like uh, monitoring in real time, so we might we'll be getting the uh, insights very quick. And this approach will enable the performance engineers to quickly identify and address the performance bottlenecks before they impact the end users so that's why I've started with that example where uh, can even tell this the, the example so that the interviewer will have an understanding that okay so this guy has worked with the does the dentist tool and he is coming up with some real life challenge so that's the reason so you can tell this uh, example like dentist uh, through the dentist real-time monitoring 
you are able to detect a sudden spike in the error rates during the peak traffic period and by promptly identifying the issue you are able to investigate and rectify it before it impacted a significant portion of portion of users and it preserves the customer satisfaction and business reputation right so now moving on to the third part which is the ai powered analysis so dynatrace's ai driven analysis provide or it proved invaluable when troubleshooting a complex issue in a microservices architecture in fact by leveraging the ai algorithms dynatrace pinpointed a specific service which causes latency allowing you to refactor the code and enhance the performance without extensive manual investigation and that saved you valuable time and resources so basically what does this ai powered analysis do so one of the key features of dynatrace is its ai powered analysis capability and in fact uh, dynatrace leverages the artificial intelligence to automatically detect any anomalies or it can even detect any root causes or any performance issues and it also provides you some actionable insights for optimization and by doing all these it will accelerate i mean dynatrace accelerates troubleshooting and resolution processes which will save you time and resources because basically when we run a test and when we get the results we take a lot of time in doing the analysis especially when in terms of uh, or in scenarios where there is a bottleneck or where there's an issue and we were able to uh we were, we were like doing the analysis but it, it will take a lot of time for you to identify what exactly is happening so that's the reason dynatrace will do a pinpointing of a specific service which is causing the latency and that will allow you to refactor the code and enhance the performance without any extensive manual investigation because it will al almost narrow narrow you down to the exact issue by using its AI driven analysis uh, insights right so that's the third part and moving on to the fourth part which is the cloud and microservices support so what does this cloud and microservices support do to dynatrace and to you so in today's cloud native and microservices based environments because everywhere we could see everywhere the application has been moved to the cloud or it's a kind of a hybrid or mostly they were yes so they were moved to cloud or either they care native or they are like hybrid and microservices we have uh, to communicate to apis to communicate to any of the components in the environment so dynatrace excels by providing deep visibility into distributed architectures and this actually the dynatrace can actually monitor the performance across the cloud platforms the containers and the microservices which ensures consistent performance regardless of the underlying infrastructure so that's what the cloud and microservices support does and when i'm talking about an example so you can so the reason i'm telling you uh, every time with some examples is um, i want you to help in a way that you should ex make yourself more visible in front of the interviewer that you have really worked on it. in fact you are, you are really working on it but still when you're coming up with some examples automatically the interview will have a, a very good uh, impact on you like very good uh, uh, impression on you so that's the reason i'm always coming up with some examples okay so even in this case with the cloud or microservices support example so when migrating you can say this example like when migrating an application to a cloud native environment dynatrace seamlessly adapted to the dyna dynamic infrastructure and that provided comprehensive monitoring across containers uh, and kubernetes clusters and cloud platforms and this actually ensured the performance remained optimal even as the application scaled even uh, even in fact after even after maintaining a consistent user experience so this is actually a very good experience when you can even bring it because every uh, organization wants you to have a cloud and microservices support so that's the reason i'm bringing you this example and then finally the last one is the business impact analysis what does this bring or what how does this impact the business so dynatrace goes beyond the traditional performance monitoring by correlating the performance metrics with the business kpis because comparing to other tool i would say dynatrace has its uh, some of the positive points something like the ai part and uh, when it comes to the business impact analysis dynatrace actually goes beyond the traditional performance monitoring by correlating the performance metrics with the business kpis and this actually allows the performance engineers to understand the impact of performance issues on business objectives and prioritize optimizations accordingly so even i can give you a better example so in one of my uh, 
previous experience in a retail application. So Dynatrace actually correlated the performance metrics with the business KPIs, such as the conversion rates and the revenues. Uh, like uh, everywhere, I, I used to tell this example, like the updating, uh, the adding to the cart and then doing a final checkout. So Dynatrace, what it does is actually it correlated the performance metrics with the business KPI, such as the conversion rates and the revenue. So by doing so, it actually highlighted how a slowdown in checkout process directly affected the sales and emphasizes the critical link between the performance and the business success. And this actually insights enabled me to prioritize the performance optimizations based on the impact on revenue generation. So this is one example for the retail. Even if you are in a banking or if you are in a uh, any other service sector or if you are in uh, airlines, you can bring some examples similar, similar to this and this will again give a good impression. So overall, Dynatrace capabilities in end-to-end -end visibility or the real-time monitoring or AI-powered analysis or support for modern architectures and the business impact analysis have been instrumental, should be instrumental in your journey as a performance engineer. So uh, its practical applications in various scenarios has consistently allowed you to optimize the performance to enhance the user experience and drive business outcome effectively. So this is how you have to uh, finally end up your answer and just uh, giving you one more part so when it comes to Dynatrace what exactly does Dynatrace do so Dynatrace plays a crucial role in performance monitoring by offering end-to-end -end visibility like I told you uh, starting from the, uh, the response time to the component and then the real-time monitoring uh, and uh, using the AI pod analysis and support for modern architectures and insights into business impact so you can tell them that with all with all uh, these experiences as a performance engineer, you have utilized the Dynatrace extensively to optimize the system performance and ensure exceptional user experience. So this is how you have to end when this question is asked to you. So anywhere, even if the question is a little outside the scope, you can even bring in, uh, bring the interviewer inside this area and you can explain whatever you know when it comes to the performance engineering and in terms of the Dynatrace. So I wish you all the very best and we'll come up with uh, 19 more questions are there for the Dynatrace. So this is the very first question for Dynatrace. So please do uh, subscribe to our channel for to watch the another 19 questions and we'll discuss everything in detail. So until I meet you in our next video, it's bye-bye from Mr. Shanmugam and your favorite Little Slot YouTube channel. Bye.